Hi, this is Catherine Martin with Terrier Vision. I'm here with baseball coach Todd Interdonato. Coach, it was good to see Matt Milburn out on out there for five innings tonight. What was going on with him in the first inning? I think he was just having a hard time getting a feel, and you know, it was good to see him be able to extend out after giving up some runs in the first inning, and that's so valuable, especially on Friday night, front part of the weekend, for him to be able to go out, give up some runs, gather himself, go back out, and stretch back out to five innings, I thought was maybe the key to the game. It's four, six, and one. That is the line for the visiting Bronx of Ryder, and you can see there's no one tiring of baseball in this grandstand. Very much into it, these fans. Led by Slick right there on the top row, and here's a bouncer up the middle and through. He can make it 11-4 as Demetrius Jennings delivers. Another RBI for Jennings. Demetrius, offense is off to a hot start this year. How does that feel? Um, it feels great. We just got guys one through nine just giving good at bats uh, through all nine innings, and I mean, you can see the result. It looks good. How was it to hit the home run the other night that you hit? Um, I was in a two-strike count, and I was just looking to put something in play, and then the ball just found the barrel and carried out for me. Thanks, Demetrius. Good game tonight. Thank you, Catherine. They would play nine on Saturday. Come back and get in double figures for the first time on Sunday as the initial pitch is lined into right field, and a diving effort is not going to be enough for the right fielder, Mayberry. Paradowski digs for third, and that's going to be the first time that he stands in at third base with a triple this season. And Paradowski get things started for the Terriers serving notice. How important was it to get the three runs back in the bottom of the first? I thought it was huge. I thought, you know, obviously they come out and they get momentum by going three runs off our best pitcher. Obviously gives them a lot of confidence, a lot of momentum. Alec coming up, hitting first pitch triple, obviously set the tone on offense. But for us to be able to put three back and basically get the game back to even, I thought was huge going into the second inning. And with two down in the bottom of the eighth inning, here's the 1-1 one -one to Reed Massey and his first Wofford at bat, and it'll be one he'll remember. Singles down the left field line. He's going to drive home at least one run. They'll hold Jennings at third and an RBI knock. Call it a double for Massey as he goes into second base, making his mark on the Wofford program in his very first A-B. Two more games this weekend. What's the mindset going into these two? Well, we got two good teams. You know, Evansville is a good team. They've traditionally been a really good team in the Missouri Valley Conference, which is very similar to the Southern Conference. Haven't played them, at least in my 11 years since I've been at Wofford. So looking forward to that, looking forward to a new challenge. But hopefully we come out with the right mindset, put two games in a row back to back. Anytime you do something correct two in a row, it starts a trend, and hopefully that's what we can do tomorrow. Thanks, Coach. Great game tonight. Thank you very much.